Hey guys, this is Jackson Wang and I'm here to share my nighttime routine with you guys and uh, yeah, let's get to bed. My skin is very sensitive. Uh, I used to have really, really bad skin and then I kind of study, not really, like, I, I kind of dig deep into finding my own routine to take care of my own skin. It's the matter of what you eat, what you drink, what you um, what you put on your face, and how how you do you really do you usually like touch touch your face a lot. It's all those small things combined together that affects the outcome. I take a shower and at night and uh, in the morning too at night, and then washing my face would be the last thing I do in in my shower routine. I dry myself and then I start putting my toner on. When you touch your face, you do it gently. And then you put your essence. Mm. Gently put it on your face. Mm. And then you put your moisturizer. Usually, usually for my for my moisturizer, I don't use my hand to dig it out. You know, I trust my hands, even though they're clean, even though I wash them, but it's better to use uh, a spoon and then I put it here make sure you get everything also it's important to moisturize your uh, to keep your face moisturized is because you don't want your face to to feel like a desert right it's important you want to look good look fresh feels nice and then next up this is my nighttime routine usually in the daytime after my moisturizer I would put sunblock if that day I don't have a shoot if I don't have to be in front of the camera then I'll use just a sunblock and I'll end there for my routine but now it's nighttime right before bed then I'll put my moisturizer and the next thing I put is sleeping pack sleeping pack a huge chunk of sleeping pack mm-hmm and then you go to sleep but not me every day before i sleep i stretch it's important to stretch because it keeps your uh, blood circulation going after i stretch before i sleep i will you know i'm in my room i turn turn my light off leaving probably like one lamp on and then i'll drink a little mao tai if you don't know what mao tai is it's a very chinese traditional alcohol before I sleep, I just uh, drink a little Mao Tai, uh, you know, you know, you know, in a, in a, in a glass. Uh, there are two balls inside, if you don't know, like there are two uh, balls inside the Mao Tai, so it keeps like the waterfall limited, you know. Fun fact, right? Fun fact. Pour it up. Probably usually before I sleep, I kind of drink until. Hi, 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 Boom. Around this, and then I probably, you know, uh, listen to some music or even the recent projects that I'm working on, you know, to get some inspirations or even think by myself, I'm in my zone. But now, these days, I'm, you know, I'm living with my um, producer. So we have a sip together, you know, before we sleep. We talk about uh, the music, you know, the concept, the treatment. A lot of the times, um, this moment gives me a lot of inspirations for creatives, right? I'll just, you know, listen to music, you know. Mm. I love this because it burns my throat. I love it so much. I love the feeling how it burns my throat. Like it feels like someone's, it feels like someone, it feels like, you know what it feels like? It feels like lava. M-A-O-T-A-I. It's Mao Tai, try it out. Chinese traditional alcohol. It's probably like the vodka of uh, uh, everywhere else, you know. Yeah, guys, this is my uh, 
nighttime skincare routine and i hope you guys enjoyed it uh i share a, a little bit about myself and my personal life private life about like how i how i live uh, i hope you guys like it and be sure to check out my latest release my recent release single my new single drive you home i love you guys for my fans for my supporters i can't wait until to see you guys soon i miss you guys a lot uh after all this pandemic i wish we can travel again and i'll see you guys next time yeah i love you guys good night